fast and furious in real life. You fight furious, got a fast car, but you hit the median, another body of body by comedian. I've never personally been with Quincy Jones, but you, that was your girl, girl, boy, boy. Burn every one of your fast and furious checks, afro with the sideburns. Yeah, that's my signature. Addictions on the rise, comedians check your temperature. So it looks like Cat Williams is still not pumping the brakes on exposing the entire industry. And he just responded to Ludacris with a crazy freestyle, accusing him of doing gay for pay with none other than Quincy Jones. No, he didn't. It all started when Cat made some bombshell allegations during his viral appearance on Club Shay Shay, claiming that Luda sold out to the Illuminati. To an Illuminati thing and it had to be one or the other of us, and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us, we were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. Luda then fired back in a freestyle going off on Cat over his alleged substance issues. But it looks like Cat was just waiting for Luda to take the bait because he went all out with a freestyle of his own, exposing Luda's alleged gay affairs with some powerful names in the industry. But let me give you some background first. It all started earlier this month when Cat stopped by Shannon Sharp's podcast, Club Shay Shay. And while they were chopping it up about Cat's beef with other comedians, Shannon hit Cat up with a curveball, asking if he and Ludacris are related. And that's when Cat unleashed a verbal storm on Luda, slinging these wild allegations about how Luda rolled up on some Illuminati party. I finally solved my rat problem without spending thousands on an exterminator. Here's how. I was sitting on the couch, watching the news on a Wednesday night as usual. Then Cat was dead serious talking about how Luda allegedly linked up with the Illuminati. And he said it's all connected to Luda locking in a deal for those Fast and Furious movies and selling his soul for the price of $200 million. And the next person they said was going to get $200 million because they were going to pay him $10 million a movie to do 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. One of those persons turned out to be Ludacris and the other person turned out to be Cat Williams. Now, one person ended up with a light-skinned, ugly-faced wife that's never done a... Remember I told you that if I say that, it apply to seven people? Yes. Cat then threw another curveball, suggesting that Luda lost his blackness, going all in with that heavy shade. But it didn't stop there. Cat went straight for the jugular, launching a wild dismissal aimed at none other than Luda's wife. Now, when it comes to Luda's wifey, Cat wasn't pulling any punches. He called her a light-skinned, ugly face and said all these black comedians and rappers who made a pact with the Illuminati got a light-skinned wife as part of the deal. It's part of what they give you. Okay, I didn't get it. I'm not mad about it. How much money they give? But Luda wasn't gonna let all that slide and he responded to Cat in a freestyle telling him to fall back and check himself. But Luda hasn't dropped anything in a minute so the fact that he rushed to the studio scrambling and scraping to do a freestyle if he says it's a freestyle then it's a freestyle must mean Cat's words hit a nerve honey. Rapping on Kanye West's Devil in a New Dress beat Luda kicked off his diss track by giving a shout out to Snoop Dogg and setting the stage for the showdown. Whatever's heavy on my heart is always on my mind. Like Snoop's cannabis shredder, I'm always on my grind. They throwing shade, could never take my shine. I bring my watch collection on my jet. Let me take my time. Luda then fired back at Cat's wild claims, saying he's never been part of the Illuminati, just Illuminati. Cause I'm lynching them. See the pendulum swing, Jesus with diamond thorns, ludicrous, swaddled in Gucci linens when I was born. Never been Illuminati. Only a Luda naughty. Basically, Luda did a 180 on Cat's accusations, claiming no secret society vibes for him. And he also took a moment to pay homage to the late John Singleton, director of Too Fast, Too Furious, who died from a stroke in April 2019. Say for likes, R.I.P. John Singleton. You never have to flex when you earn every one of your Fast and Furious checks. And then Luda dropped a final bomb on Cat, pointing fingers at those long-standing rumors about Cat's struggles with substances. Afro with the sideburns. Yeah, that's my signature. Addictions on the rise. Comedians check your temperature.
Now, I guess Luda has some witty bars there, but fans are not letting him off the hook that easily. It's like folks are reading between the lines and sensing there's more to the story because Luda might have clapped back, but it seems like Kat's words hit home. One fan said, you came out of retirement over a comedian? Yeah, Kat was telling the truth. And another one wrote, Kat, Two, Luda, zero. Just reminded everyone that for him, it's all about materialism and getting to the top by any means necessary. Ergo, no standards. Meanwhile, Kat's fairness and hustle make his success much more valuable, epic, and inspiring. But Luda should have thought twice before coming for Kat because it looks like Kat was just waiting for him to respond so he could come out a blazing. During a recent episode of Suge Knight's Collect Call podcast, Kat teased an unfinished diss track directed at Ludacris, blasting him for being a fraud, accusing him of being bi-curious, and get this, sleeping with Quincy Jones. Uh-uh. Fast and curious in real life. You bi-curious, got a fast car, but your hips the median, another body of body by comedian one of us one of us the one the one I'm coming for your number one you heard it in the club KJ I gave them all a payday I'm still going so who care what the hate say Luda Chris you must be out your rabbit my hit a rap song but you ain't found to be clear, Ludacris has never come out publicly as gay or bisexual. In 2014, he tied the knot with model Eudokshi, who is Gabonese. After marriage, Luda gained dual nationality and became a Gabonese citizen. The couple shared two daughters, and Luda also has two more children from previous relationships. Now, as for Quincy Jones, his sexuality has been buzzing in the rumor mill for ages. Quincy always dismissed these rumors, and in a 2012 New York Times article, he said he identifies as heterosexual. But there's been a lot of speculation about Quincy allegedly young men in the industry. A few years back, reports popped up that singer Tevin Campbell, who came out as gay in 2022, was essayed by Quincy. But Tevin later denied this and called these reports disgusting. But the speculation didn't end there because there's also been a lot of buzz about Quincy allegedly trying to pressure Tupac to sleep with him. Tupac, who was seeing Quincy's daughter Kadada Jones, had some big plans cooking before his tragic death in 1996. And word on the street is that he was eyeing the ex exit door at death row and thinking about signing up with Quincy's label. But rumors have been swirling for a minute that Tupac turned down Quincy's offer after Quincy put forward a questionable proposal. Now, this tea supposedly got spilled during Tupac's sit down with Angie Martinez for Vibe magazine. But here's the kicker. You can find only some parts of that interview online and there's a huge chunk missing. Turns out that interview was a marathon, clocking in at over two hours. But when Angie aired it, she only dropped 12 minutes of the whole thing. When Billboard magazine asked her what's the deal with holding back, she claimed she was worried Tupac's words would fuel the East Coast versus West Coast beef, which was already hotter than a summer day at that time. But there's no way Tupac was only dishing on the East Coast beef for two whole hours, and rumor has it, he dropped some bombshells about Quincy Jones. And here's where it gets wild. That part of the interview apparently leaked right after Pac's passing, but then it got swept under the rug real quick. Folks who were around when this first hit the streets swear they heard Tupac straight up saying he cut ties with Quincy because Quincy had the audacity to ask for a questionable favor of the intimate kind. And let me tell you, one of the heavyweights in the industry, Professor Griff, he was out here claiming Quincy went to great lengths to bury that secret. Griff even went as far as saying Quincy had folks taken out just to keep things hush hush allegedly but wait it gets crazier professor griff spilled the tea that quincy supposedly set up some kind of a wild ring in hollywood pressuring young men entertainers into getting involved in his rumored gay rituals and get this griff threw shade at none other than will smith suggesting that will was one of these young cats and pointing out that will's first movie after meeting quincy was six degrees of separation where he played a gay con artist to be clear there's no proof quincy jones tried something like this with Ludacris, but cat williams made some bold claims in his new diss track so we'll see if and how luda will respond 
Meanwhile, fans are saying Cap must have had the receipts to back up his claims because not one defamation of character lawsuit has been filed against him. Mm. One fan said, nobody has called him a liar or screamed for their lawyer to sue him. He got receipts, honey. And another one wrote, I believe it. Too many celebs be on some weird to get on, then cry about it years later, acting like they were forced. But let me know how you feel about all these wild claims Cat made about Ludacris. Do y'all think there's any truth to those Luda and Quincy Jones rumors? Comment down below and then check out this next video.